Hi, and welcome to the Monday Minute, where we share tips and tricks on how to make your experience with Sensource's people counting system the best that it can be. If you've recently purchased a Sensource system, or maybe you're newly assigned the task of analyzing your traffic data, then this video is for you. Let's see how to create a simple dashboard in Veya. Sensource's Veya Analytics platform offers many customization features. When you first log in, it can feel a little overwhelming to know where to start. We recommend beginning with a basic dashboard to summarize your traffic data in a few different ways on a single screen. So first, you'll navigate to the Dashboards tab on the main menu and then click New Dashboard. On the top right of the screen, you'll see a series of colored icons. Select the green plus icon to add your first widget. Depending on which integrations you have connected, you'll see various icon tabs across the top. The people icon is for all of your standard traffic reports. The basket icon only applies if you have point of sale data integrated to show your conversion and transaction reports. The clock icon only applies if you have queue and service metrics added to your account and you'll see your wait time reports here. The group icon is where you'll find zone occupancy reports if you have that added to your account. The cloud icon is where you'll find date and time and weather widgets. So this is really helpful to add to your dashboard if you're overseeing many locations and creating a dashboard for each. Uh, you can see the local time and weather and if it's impacting traffic. The photo icon is where you can upload an image to add to your dashboard. Um, the most common use here is a logo or maybe a photo of the building or the entrance that the sensors are covering. The icon with the line of people and the lightning bolt is for live queue metrics. And then the next is for live service time, historical queue, historical service time, and occupancy. Let's select a standard traffic report. You'll see cards, line charts, and bar charts, and we'll select the first card. It'll ask to configure the widget. The configurations you'll see are refresh interval, and this will customize how often the dashboard refreshes, or if you leave it at zero, it'll only refresh when upon the page load. Now this is useful if you're displaying the report on a TV in your office or maybe a customer facing display. So you can set it to refresh every five minutes or whatever time is desired. Next is your color theme. You can customize your widget color. And then the icon, you can change the card icon. Um, on the label field, you can rename the card. Uh, data format options. Input values. For your basic dashboard, you'll be looking at traffic ins. However, you can use this card to show different values too. Date range. Here you can select the time period for the traffic data, or if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see a custom date range option. Data grouping. In most cases, you'll use location. This will combine the traffic data for all of your entrances in your building. Should you want to view a single entrance, you'll select site, where multiple sensors covering the same entrance will be combined. You can also create the card for a single sensor's traffic or a zone within a sensor view or your organization for all the sensors within your organization. 
You can filter further with the Custom Properties drop-down. The Data Grouping option you select will populate a list of choices to select from. To omit staff counts collected before or after hours, turn on the Exclude Closed Hours toggle and then save the card. You can grab the corner of the card to adjust its size and placement. And then you'll repeat these steps to add more widgets to your dashboard. If this is your first time setting up a dashboard, we do recommend contacting our customer support team and scheduling a VEA tutorial where they'll walk you through all of these steps to create your very first dashboard. I hope you found this video useful as you learn to navigate VEA and get the most out of your foot traffic data. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming tips or tricks from Sensource. Thanks for watching.